My dear students, welcome to week four of unit three in our English language and literature. Um, in this week, uh, this week is going to extend from the 28th of January to February 1st. In this week, we're going to start by an explicit using technology. You're going to use technology to create a PowerPoint presentation reflecting on the change of Scrooge's character throughout the play. Word wall is going to include character, change, reflect, PowerPoint presentation, and group work. We're going to watch a video about Christmas Carol, changes in Scrooge's character throughout the story. You will have a group work in which you are going to design a PowerPoint presentation reflecting on the change of Scrooge's character throughout the play. Use evidence from the text and pictures to make your presentation more vibrant and lively. You can add some sketches while presenting your PowerPoint or you can act things out. You will watch another video about a Christmas carol about Scrooge's character analysis. Um, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. Uh, for further practice, you will have a link that is going to help you to practice more uh, of um, about the changes in Scrooge's character. You're going to rewrite the first act with the change of Scrooge's character in the challenging question. For the self-assessment, just a second, character. For the self-assessment, you will have a link uh, and a quiz. And to revise everything you took for what to do tomorrow, you're going to press on what's next to take you to, um, to a quiz. Now, um, in week four, lesson two, you are going to write an explanatory essay. In this lesson, you're going to recognize an explanatory essay. You're going to recognize features of an explanatory essay. The word wall is going to include introduction, body, conclusion, thesis, explanatory essay, outline, and explicit, uh, expository. Uh, you are going to watch a video that introduces the explanatory essay and you are going to read an article and write the features of an explanatory essay on your notebook. You will have, um, you're going to watch a video that provides an overview and some examples of an explanatory essay. And for interactive activity, you're going to watch, uh, you're going to press on the picture and read examples of an explanatory essay and mark the features of an explanatory essay. For the challenging question, what does a forest in articles stand for? And you will have further practice. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to choose one of the topics of, uh, to start your explanatory essay and search about it. For lesson three, you're going to um, draft an explanatory essay introduction. The word wall is going to include hook, explanatory, introduction, background information, and thesis. You're going to watch a video about how to formulate a strong thesis statement. And you are going to uh, read an article about writing a strong thesis. A thesis statement gives the reader a preview of your paper's content by laying out your central idea and expressing an in informed reasoned answer to your research question. Thesis statements will vary depending on the type of paper you are writing, such as expository essay, argument paper, or analytical uh, essay. Before creating a thesis statement, determine whether you are defending a stance, giving an overview of an event, object, or process, or analyzing your subject. You're going to watch a video about how to write an explanatory essay introduction. And then you are going to start drafting the introduction on your notebook. You will have further practice on uh, writing an introduction. And for the challenging question, what's the difference between an argumentative essay thesis and explanatory essay thesis? And you need to write your answer in your notebook, um, self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, you're going to start drafting your first body paragraph. Now for lesson four, you are going to draft the first body paragraph. The word wall is going to include peel, point, explanation, evidence, examples, link, link, thesis, explanatory, expository, and essay. 
uh, you will go, you're going to uh, watch a video about uh, writing a body paragraph and we're going to concentrate on the hamburger model. You're going to have an interactive activity related to that and you will have another video that talks about explanatory essay body one paragraph, another interactive activity and uh, further practice. And for the challenging question, what do you include in the conclusion of an explanatory essay? You need to write that in your notebook. You will have a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start drafting the second body of your explanatory essay. Now let's go to lesson five, which is going to be on, uh, on the 1st of February. You're going to ensure clarity and coherence in regard to writing an explanatory essay. You're going to organize the essay effectively uh, and verify content accurately. Uh, you're going to consider a peer review for additional feedback and insights to improve the clarity of explanation. The word wall is going to include transitions, description, explain, coherence, editing, paraphrase, sequence, produce, and accuracy. You're going to watch a video about uh, elements of an expository essay. You will have an interactive activity, another video about Peel model, and another interactive activity, further explanation about the Peel model as well, and a reflection, a self-assessment. For the challenging question, how can you select a robust uh, uh, and unambiguous uh, un point for your paragraph or essay? And uh, for the further practice, I would like you to start drafting your conclusion essay. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.